Hey, this is Patrick from Frontly. Today, I'm going to show you the difference between the default detail view when clicking on a record in one of your blocks and the custom view, which allows you to define a separate view with blocks of its own and do some fancy data relation things. So let's just jump into it. I'm going to click preview and I have not done anything special on this page. I just want to show you that the default for any table or grid or calendar block or Kanban is when you click on a record, you get this modal pop-up. It's a form. It allows you to adjust your records. We can change the values. Maybe I make my quantity 100. I can hit save. This is all handled out of the box for you. This is built because most users are really just trying to maintain their data. They don't need anything too fancy. But let's say you want to create something a bit more custom. And so let's go back to our app and let's go to the actions button here. You can see that the record click action is set to the default detail view. That is set up by default. You don't have to worry about it if you don't want to change anything. But if you click on this drop down, you'll see a few options. Custom view is the one that we're looking for right now. This gives us a little bit more flexibility. So there's another option here called detail view mode. You remember how the previous pop-up was happening as like a visual pop-up, kind of like this, but it was taking up the middle of the screen. We also have an option for the detail view to be in full page mode, which gives a sense of almost leaving the page, but without actually leaving the page for navigational purposes. So I'm going to select that, and then you'll understand what I'm talking about when I show you this preview. Let's click Edit Detail View, and we can either browse blocks or we can just add a block as usual. We're in a clean slate here because we're editing this specific detail view. You can tell with this gray bar, we're making it clear you are in a detail view. If you want to get out of it at any time, you can just click that X, you're back to the normal app editor. But when you click on edit view, you kind of jump into this other mode. So I'm going to add a grid inside this detail view, and I'm going to select the same spreadsheet. So my grid has the same tool inventory as the high level sheet. And just to make things a little bit nice, I'm going to go to my card and I'm going to select a badge of category. This helps us just kind of visually distinguish between these. So one thing that we can do that's really cool is instead of having this, when I click on a record right now, by default, it just shows all the records. It's just what you'd expect. We didn't, we didn't set up any special filters. We haven't done anything. It's just a table. And when you click on a record, it's showing a grid. Um, that's not really all that useful, but if we go back and we go back to our, uh, editor and then we click on the filters, we can add a filter to this custom detail view block based on the record that we clicked that triggered opening this detail view. So I'll give you some specific examples and you can see the power of this. It's very, very easy to set up. So click add hidden filter. And in this case, I want to use the category. So like this, you know, right here, hand tools, power tools, I'm going to use that as the field to filter by. And I can change my operator. I could leave it as contains, which is like a partial match for words or equals, which is an exact match. I think that's better for right now. And then the value field, when I click on my dynamic variable injector, I have a few options, but I want the parent record. So the parent record is the record that was clicked to trigger this detail view, which we're considering the, the child in this hierarchical relationship. So I'm going to select parent record and I'm presented with all the different fields that exist on my data. In this case, I want category. So I clicked on that. It's added this dynamic variable into the value field. And if I hit save, we have a very cool, powerful situation set up and I'll show you exactly how it works. So just from that one hidden filter inside the custom view, I now have an app that when I click on a record, instead of showing me all of the records, it's going to show me only the records with the matching category. So if I click on power tools, I'm only getting the power tool records. And if I click on chainsaws, well, there's only one in that category, but you see what I mean. 
you can use this with any field on your data. And the data doesn't have to be all in the same sheet, but there does need to be some kind of relational field. So you can use this to create a relational system where you have maybe tools and you have projects and the tool has a project ID. And as long as you set up those filters correctly, you can create these very specific workflows where your users can navigate through data, filtering, and that's without even going to the extent of adding the, the visible filters in the app right here. So there's a simple example of how to use the custom view, but one thing I didn't really talk about is just that the custom view supports adding as many blocks as you want. Um, I wouldn't really recommend going too crazy on it, but you, but you can add more if you wanted to. If you wanted to also add a table here, you can do that. Um, it's gonna render just like a page you know, on its own, just like we were seeing here where it's kind of got its own little view. So you can play around with this, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Our support team is happy to help.